Can donate it back to the to that liturgies for can you hear me? can't hear Okay, maybe you can open the door. Open all the door. That door too. Open that door too. You want to test yours? One, two, three. So Holy Week begins today, and the Tridium, Holy Thursday, the Last Supper, the washing of the feet will be on Thursday. The adoration of the uh, Holy Cross on Good Friday and on Easter Vigil, all three days, we have the liturgy at 7 p.m., so that make it easier for you. And on, except on Friday, we have 1 o'clock. Next Sunday, we have 6.30 mat, 10, and 12, so it make it easier for us, 8, 10, 12. There's an earlier Mass if you want to go earlier. So the Mass time uh, changes for next weekend. Okay. Are we okay with time? Two minutes. Anything else? Okay. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, since the beginning of Lent until now, we have prepared our hearts by penance. It will work. Today we gather together to herald with the whole church. Paschal mystery, that is to say, of his passion and resurrection. For it was to accomplish this mystery that he entered his own city of Jerusalem. Therefore, with all faith and devotion, let us commemorate the Lord's entry into the city of our salvation.
following in his footsteps, so that being made by his grace partakers of the cross, we may have a share also in his resurrection and in his life. And now is the blessing of the palm. So you those who have it on your hands, raise it up higher so it can be blessed. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, sanctify these branches with your blessing that we who follow Christ, the King of in exaltation, may reach the eternal Jerusalem through him who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus and his disciples drew near to Jerusalem, to Bethpage and Bethany at Mount of Olives, he sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the village opposite you, and immediately on entering it, you will find a colt tethered on which no one has ever sat. Untie it. Bring it here. If anyone should say to you, why are you doing this? Reply, the master has need of it and will send it back here at once. So they went off and found a colt tethered at a gate outside on the street and they untied it. Some of the bystanders said to them, what are you doing untying the colt? They answered them just as Jesus had told them to and they permitted them to do it. So they brought the colt to Jesus and put their cloaks over it and he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, and others spread leafy branches that they cut from the fields. Those preceding him as well as those following kept crying out, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the kingdom of our father David that is to come. Hosanna in the highest. The gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. One more. And now... Together, like the crowds who acclaim Jesus in Jerusalem, let us go forth in peace. Hosanna to the Son of David. Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is the King. Blessed is the King. Who comes in the name of the Lord. Who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna to the Son of David. Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is the King. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna to the Son of David. Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is the King. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Who comes in the name of the Lord? Hosanna to the Son of David. Hosanna to the Son of David. Blessed is the King. Blessed is the King. Who comes in the name of the Lord? Who comes in the name of the Lord? Son of David. Oh. 
My God, my God, where have you gone? Why have you abandoned me? Why have you left me alone? My God, my God, where have you gone? Why have you abandoned me? Why have you left me alone? All who see me scoff at me. They mock me with their parted lips. Saying you relied in God Let him rescue you If he truly loves you My God, my God, where have you gone? Why have you abandoned me? Why have you left me alone? My enemies are all around me They're closing in on every side They have pierced my hands and feet And from all my wounds I can count on my bones My God, my God, where have you gone? Why have you abandoned me? Why have you left me alone? They divided all I own And for my garments they cast law but you, O oh Lord, are with me Won't you hear my cries And come to my aid My God, my God, where have you gone? Why have you abandoned me? Why have you left me alone? my people in the midst of pain I praise to you you who fear the Lord shall love him all people of the land shall sing of his praise my God my God where have you gone why have you abandoned me? Why have you left me A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not require equality with God, something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance, he humbled himself becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend, of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father.
the word of the Lord. We invite you to remain standing. However, if at any time during the reading you need to be seated, we welcome you to do so. We also invite you to follow along and respond as indicated as the crowd. The Passion of Our Lord Jesus Christ According to Mark The Passover and the Feast of the Unleavened Bread were to take place in two days' time. So the chief priests and the scribes were seeking a way to arrest him by treachery and put him to death. They said, Not during the festival, for fear that there may a riot among the people. He was in Bethany reclining at table in the house of Simon the leper. A woman came with an alabaster jar of perfumed oil costly genuine spikenard. She broke the alabaster jar and poured it on his head. There were some who were indignant. Why has there been such a waste of perfumed oil? It would have been sold for more than 300 days wages and the money given to the poor. They were infuriated with her, Jesus said. Let her alone. Why do you make trouble for her? She has done a good thing for me. The poor you always have with you, and where, whenever wish, you wish you can do to them, good to them, but you will not always have me. She has done what she could. She has anticipated anointing my body for burial. Amen, I say to you, wherever the gospel is proclaimed to the whole world, what she has done will be told in memory of her. Then Judas Iscariot, one of the twelve, went off to the chief priests to hand him over to them. When they heard him, they were pleased and promised to pay him money. Then he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of Unleavened Bread, when they sacrificed the Passover lamb, his disciples said to him, Where do you want us to go? and prepare you to eat the Passover. He sent two of his disciples and said to them, Go into the city, and a man will meet you, carrying a jar of water. Follow him. Wherever he enters, say to the master of the house, The teacher says, Where is my guest room, where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? Then he will show you a large upper room, furnished, and ready. Make the preparations for us there. Then the, the disciples then went off, entered the city, and found it just as he told them, and they prepared the Passover. 
When it was evening, he came with the twelve. And as they reclined at the table and were eating, Jesus said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me, one who is eating with me. They began to be distressed and say to him one by one, Surely it is not I. He said to them, One of the twelve, the one who dips with me into the dish. For the Son of Man indeed goes, as it is written of, of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. While they were eating, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them, and said, Take it. This is my body. Then he took a cup, gave thanks, gave it to them, and they all drank from it. He said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which will be shed for many. Amen, I say to you, I shall not drink again the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. Then after singing a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. Then Jesus said to them, All of you will have your faith shaken, for it is written, I will strike the shepherd, and the sheep will be dispersed. But after I have been raised up, I shall go before you to Galilee. Peter said to him, Even though all should have their faith shaken, mine will not be. Then Jesus said to him, Amen, I say to you, this very night, before the cock crows twice, you deny me three times. But he vehemently said, Even though I should have to die with you, I will not deny you. And they all spoke similarly. Then they came to a place named Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I pray. He took with him Peter, James, and John, and began to be troubled and distressed. Then he said to them, My soul is sorrowful even to death. Remain here and keep watch. He advanced a little and fell to the ground and prayed that it, if were possible, the hour might pass by him. He said, Abba, Father, all things are possible to you. Make this cup away from me, but not as I will, but what you will. When he returned, he found them asleep. He said to Peter, Simon, are you asleep? Could you not keep watch for an hour? Watch and pray that you may not undergo the test. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Withdrawing again, he prayed, saying the same thing. Then he returned once more and found them asleep, for they could not keep their eyes open and did not know what to answer him. He returned a third time and said to them, Are you still sleeping and taking your rest? It is enough. The hour has come. Behold, the Son of Man is to be handed over to sinners. Get up. Let us go. See, my betrayer is at hand. Then while he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, arrived, accompanied by a crowd with swords and clubs, who had come from the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders. His betrayer had arranged a signal with them, saying, The man I shall kiss is the one. Arrest him and lead him away securely. He came and immediately went over to him and said, Rabbi, and he kissed him. At this they laid hands on him and arrested him. One of the bystanders drew his sword, struck the high priest's servant, and cut off his ear. Jesus said to them in reply, Have you come out as against a robber, with swords and clubs, to seize me? Day after day I was with you, teaching in the temple area, yet you did not arrest me, but that the scriptures may be fulfilled. And they all left him and fled. Now a young man following, followed him, nothing but, wearing nothing but a linen cloth on his body. They seized him, but he left the cloth behind and ran off naked. 
They led Jesus away to the high priest, and all the chief priests and elders and scribes came together. Peter followed him at a distance into the high priest's courtyard and was seated with the guards, warming himself at the fire. The chief priests and the entire Sanhedrin kept trying to obtain testimony against Jesus in order to put him to death, but they found none. Many gave false witness against him, but their testimony did not agree. Some took the stand and testified falsely against him, alleging, We heard him say, I will destroy the temple made with his hands in three days. I will build another not made with his hands. Even so, their testimony did not agree. The high priest rose before the assembly and questioned Jesus, saying, Have you no answer? What are these men testifying against you? But he was silent and answered nothing. Again the high priest asked him and said to him, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One? Then Jesus answered, I am, and you will see the Son of Man at the right hand of the power and coming with the clouds of heaven. At that the high priest tore his garments and said, What further need have we of witnesses? You have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? They all condemned him as deserving to die. Some began to spit on him. They blindfolded him, struck him, and said, Prophecy. And the guards greeted him with blows. While Peter was below in the courtyard, one of the high priest's maids came along. Seeing Peter warming himself, she looked intently at him and said, You too were the Nazarene Jesus. But he denied it, saying, I neither know nor understand what you are talking about. So he went out into the outer court. Then the cock crowed. The maid saw him and began to say to the bystanders, This man is one of them. Once again he denied it. A little later the bystanders said to Peter once more, Surely you are one of them, for you are too are Galilean. He began to curse and to swear. I do not know this man about whom you are talking. And immediately a cock crowed a second time. Then Peter remembered the word that Jesus said to him. Before the cock crows twice, you will deny me three times. He broke down and wept. As soon as morning came, the chief priests with the elders and scribes, that is the whole Sanhedrin, held a council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate questioned him. Are you the king of the Jews? He said to him in reply, You say so. The chief priests accused him of many things. Again, Pilate questioned him. Have you no answer? See how many things they accuse you of? Jesus gave him no further answer so that Pilate was amazed. Now on the occasion of the feast, he used to release to them one prisoner whom they requested. A man called Barabbas was then in prison along with the rebels who had committed murder in the rebellion. The crowd came forward and began to ask him to do for them as he was accustomed. Pilate answered, Do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? For he knew that it was out of envy that the chief priest had handed him over. But the chief priest stirred up the crowd to have them release Barabbas for them instead. Pilate again said to them in reply, Then what do you want me to do with the man you call the king of the Jews? They shouted again, Crucify him. Pilate said to them, Why? What evil has he done? They only shouted louder, Crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas to them, and after he had Jesus scourged, handed him over to be crucified. The soldiers led him away inside the palace, that is, the praetorium, and assembled the whole cohort. They clothed him in purple and weaving a crown of thorns placed it on him. They began to salute him with, Hail, King of the Jews! And kept striking his head with a reed and spitting upon him. They knelt before him in homage. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of his purple cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, led him off to be crucified. They pressed into service a passerby, Simon, a Caesarean, 
who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. They brought him to a place called Golgotha, which translates place of the skull. They gave him wine drugged with myrrh, but he did not take it. Then they crucified him and divided his garments by casting lots for them to see what each should take. It was nine in the morning when they crucified him. The inscription for the charge against him read, the King of the Jews. With him they crucified two revolutionaries, one on his right, one on his left. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads and saying, Aha, you who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days. Save yourself by coming down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priests with the scribe mocked him among themselves and said, He saved others, he cannot save himself. Let the Christ, King of Israel, come down now from the cross, that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also kept abusing him. At noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. And at three, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, le masabastani, which is translated, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of the bystanders who heard it said, Look, he is calling Elijah. One of them ran, soaked a sponge with wine, and put it on a reed and gave it to him to drink, saying, Wait, let us see if Elijah comes to take him down. Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. Please kneel. The veil of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom. When the centurion who stood facing him saw how he breathed his last, he said, Truly, this man was the Son of God. There were also women looking on from a distance. Among them were Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of the younger James, and of Joseph and Salome. These women had followed him when he was in Galilee and ministered to him. There were also many other women who had come up with him to Jerusalem. When it was already evening, since it was the day of preparation, the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, a distinguished member of the council, who was himself awaiting the kingdom of God, came and courageously went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Pilate was amazed that he was already dead. He summoned the centurion and asked him if Jesus had already died. And when he learned of it from the centurion, he gave the body to Joseph. Having bought a linen cloth, he took him down, wrapped him in the linen cloth, and laid him in a tomb that had been hewn of the rock. Then he rolled a stone against the entrance to the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, watched where he was laid. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please stand to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, 
Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became men. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered for death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is the door and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess in him for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead, the life the world to come. Amen. Together we share our needs with the Lord, who humbled himself to offer his life for us and be one with us. That the Holy Spirit may sanctify the church in her observances of this solemn holy week. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our that God's exaltation of the name of Jesus may bring people of all nations to their knees. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our that God may not abandon the distressed, the dying, or those sentenced to death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that Jesus may journey together with us through experiences of loss and sacrifice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our that those who are suffering of old age and ill health, especially me, Nyo, may be comforted by the passion of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our that all who have died, especially Lily Ann Salinas and Elizabeth Perico, may enter the heavenly Jerusalem, join the angels and saints, in giving glory to God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for Dominico Thiep Bui and Agnes Ne Nguyen, for whom this mass being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Lord God, hear these prayers and petitions that we bring before you with humble hearts. Answer them in accordance with your holy will. Jesus Christ, in Jesus Christ's name we pray, our Lord. Amen. Amen.
rejected and alone Like a rose trampled on the ground You took the fall And thought of me above all Like a rose trampled on the ground You took the fall Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the, for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through the passion of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, so that though we do not merit it by your own deeds, yet by this sacrifice made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We have lifted them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. O Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For though innocent, he suffered willingly for sinners and accepted unjust condemnation to save the guilty. His death has washed away our sins and his resurrection has purchased our justification. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. This is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we 
celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, his brother bishops, Timothy, Thomas, and all the clergy. We remember all the victims of the shooting at the concert in Russia. May God grant them eternal life. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. At the Savior's command and formed by His divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Oh 
who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say, Lord, my soul shall be healed. The body and the blood of Christ bring me to eternal life. the body and the blood of Christ. Amen.
surrounding me in every season I know you love me I know you love me at the cross I bow my your blood was shed for me. There's no greater love than this. You have overcome the grave. Your glory fills the highest place. What can separate me now? You go before me.
that took all my sin and loved it instead. How beautiful the tender eyes that chose to forgive and never despise. How beautiful. Let us pray. Nourish with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son, you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection, you may lead us to where you call, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please bow for a blessing. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. Look, we pray, O Lord, on this, your family, for whom our Lord Jesus Christ did not hesitate to be delivered into the hands of the wicked and submit to the agony of the cross, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness, snares of the devil. May God rebuke you. We humbly pray. By the power of God, cast to hell Satan and all evil spirit prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.